Finding a good intro template is hard, but it is much harder to edit and use those templates. How many times would we have found a good template but decided not to use it as it was too hard to edit? Many of us would have been in this place too many times. That is why in this video, we will show you not only where to find awesome templates, but also how to easily edit and use them. Without further ado, let's get started. Click on the link in the description to get to the intro maker page from Animaker. Click on the get started option to sign in. Now fill in the details and sign up. If you already have an account, log in using your registered mail id. If you are a new user, you will be redirected to the templates page of Animaker. Now select the intros and outros category below the search bar. It will open all the intro and outro templates. But if you are not new to Animaker, you will be redirected to the dashboard of your Animaker account. Click on the intro slash outros icon just below the search bar over here. You will be shown all the intro and outro templates available within Animaker. There are more than 25 plus intro and outro templates. Click on the preview option or a template to have a look at it. Let's take a look at few more templates. If you like an intro, click on the use icon. This will open the selected template for editing. This is the interface of Animaker application. On the center is the workspace where you can bring in all the elements and create your video. On the bottom is the timeline. Within timeline, you have three different timelines. First is the animation timeline, which lets you edit any kind of element like text, logos, images, etc. that are present in the video. Next is the video and audio timeline, which lets you edit and change the music track. And finally, we have the camera timeline through which we can add camera effects. On the right hand side is the scene section. Scenes are similar to the slides in a presentation. As the several slides combine to form a presentation, multiple scenes combine to form a video. As we are making a short intro video, we have only one scene. But you can create multiple scenes and increase the duration of the video. On the left hand side is the library which has all the elements that you would need to create your video. Let's start with adding our logo to the video. Go to the upload section in the library and click on the upload option and upload the logo. Now go back to the workspace and select the circle which says your logo. You can see a bunch of new options appearing. This is called the item menu and in the item menu you can notice an option named swap. Click on it. Get back to the upload section and select the logo and finally select apply. We have successfully replaced the circle with our uploaded logo. To edit the text, just select it and type the new text that you want. That's it. We have completed editing the intro video. In case if you want to change the music track, you can do that by switching to the video timeline. If you select the track, you will get a few more options. You can have a preview of it, control its volume. Trim it, duplicate it and delete it. If you want to add a new music track, delete the current one and head over to the music section in the library. To have a preview, keep your pointer over it. Click on a track to apply to the video. As I'm fine with the current track, I'm not gonna replace it. I'm pressing Ctrl Z to get back the deleted music track. To have a preview, use the preview option just above the timeline. To download, click on the publish option at the top. Now select the download video option and further select the resolution and click download. It will take a few minutes to render your video and you will get a mail in your registered mail id with the download link to the video. That's it. Now you know how to create an awesome youtube channel intro in just a matter of minutes. It's that simple with Animaker. So what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description and create your youtube channel intro now. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more templates and video making tutorials like this.